Hey Exiles, how we doing? We are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? Okay, so um, off the previous, well not the video before, but the video before that. Uploaded a video about the XP, uh, XP challenge and provided some information and some um, guides just for you guys to sort of follow on and hopefully, you know, it gives you a better understanding, more information and hopefully, you know, what to do or what not to do um, during the XP challenge to maximize your efficiency and your output. More importantly, to get more XP during the challenge cycle so you guys can get higher um, uh, prizes, rewards, um, all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna follow up with that from there with this one today. Now this is specifically going down to the um, Battlethons. Okay, so there is a multiple range of Battlethons that we um, have available to us in game when the event pops up. So there's many of which that I know for, for the most part when you guys do do them, um, there's always that general confusion at the start to find out which one it is or which would be the best area or zone to sort of jump into and um, essentially go nuts on it so we can get maximum EXP out of it. So hopefully this guide will help you. And disclaimer on the guide before I go any further and start introducing anything, credit is none of myself whatsoever. All this goes down to the hardworking people that are dedicated to the game. Um, the person that we have individually today will be by the name of Miss Monochrome. Now, she has compiled a definitive guide by the looks of things, and I'm sure this is pretty much on the completed side. Don't think there's anything that needs to be added or implemented thus far. Um, if you're watching it, Miss Monochrome, let me know in the comments. Maybe if you want to jump into the comment section and provide some info there, that'd be completely helpful um, and that'd be much appreciated by yourself. But you can definitely find this in the Discord server. Um, and if you go into the wiki page list there, you will find all that information for yourself to have a look at. Um, if you guys want to jump and um, instead of doing that, if you just want to pause my video and check it from time to time, by all means, Welcome for you guys to do that while I'm just mucking about here in the dark woods. So with all that out of the way, I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to throw up the first image here and this will be the Battlethon. Um, so this is one of two slides, I should say, so that we're um, providing you guys now. So what we're looking at is we've got the Brutal Brawl, Wild War, Jungle Rumble, Combat Mania and the Creeper Conflict. So. Take your time, have a look at it guys. Don't go, um, you know, don't sort of um, skim over it and whatnot. If you guys really wanna have a decent look at it, please go ahead and do so. But what you're looking at here is you've got a few things going on. You have all minimum uh, contribution EXP value or points value in this case for each single one of them. And then from, uh, from top to bottom, least to most um, points that it's going to give you per enemy that you kill will be is provided on this little table here so definitely check it out and um, this way this will basically give you a better guide to um, you know uh, go through each zone and attack each um, enemy depending on who you're going to attack what type of ex um, sorry points or exp it's going to yield you and my initial thoughts from this uh, upon checking this and having a look at it depending on who you really want to attack and if it's a case that if you're going to either clear the zone and clear everyone in between then naturally you're going to go and do that sort of um you know with that in mind so what you're looking at now is um when, you, when you're sort of looking at towards the bottom, you've got the Dark Overlord there, the Dark Bone Breaker. They're going to be your most EXP value that you can get. Now, it all depends on how you guys sort of jump in. Jump in. Do you guys run past all the, um, all the enemies, get into the selected areas? Now, in, in the case of this, the Cursed Forest, I should say, and jump in, uh, just attack who you need to attack, leave, and then go to the next one and basically rinse and repeat. Um, that's up to you guys, unless if you spend the time and hit all zones um, and every single level there. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. I'm actually interested to know how you guys sort of do these sort of things. Um, for a lot of people, I'm guessing, you know, they're probably, they probably know already 
or from experience themselves who they're going to attack and what they're going to attack and obviously what you know how much investment they're going to leave themselves you know to move on to the next place and and this all comes back to people's um you know time frame ability as well um you know how much time have they allowed themselves to play this game and you know does that give them enough time to um you know uh, do what they need to do and especially for the XP challenge how much time you're going to set aside for this sort of stuff so um, yeah definitely um, you know put all that into consideration when you're going to do these sort of um, or this you know style of event being the battle thumb and at the bottom what you'll find is the points value per zone I'm taking. Now I haven't actually spoken to the person that's created this directly about this. So I'm only going by from what I'm seeing. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, and if you need to ask that person a question, you probably want to either um, hit up a message uh, with her through Discord will probably be the best place. Hopefully that's okay from the person there. Um, now, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that this individual will be okay in answering questions and things like that, but obviously you don't want to bombard the individual there either. So I, I guess I'll probably just throw that up as a little disclaim. Anyway, that's for the first slide. We're going to jump over to the next one, which is the two of two of this slide. And this is more to do with the other um, battle thons now. So we've got the Slaughterfest. We have the Spider Skirmish. We've got the Fight Fury undead assault dark clash and then dark duel and the other reason why i'm i'm emphasizing these as well and i'm bringing these up at the same time it's basically giving you a better understanding of what enemies that you need to look for as well because when you you'll notice that some of them have a lot of enemies that you can um fight and others very little i mean if you look at the undead assault by the looks of things, there's only four enemies out of that that qualify for that particular event that you can kill. And naturally, it's going to give you a difference in, um, you know, uh, uh, the amount of points that you need to acquire, you know, for that um, event as well. So, again, something else to consider whilst you're doing the um, the uh, XP challenges. Um, you might want, you might consider, okay, um, clan we're not going to invest in this because it's not worth it you know by the time you, you grind it out there's only so much points that you can get if you look at the um again i'm going to go back to the undead assault uh dungeon's going to get you 724 points and the cursed forest is only 324 so obviously in this sense here if you're going to do it you get your all that you want to invest your time and effort into is the dungeon you don't want to do anything else you don't even want to bother with anyone, you know, um, above ground before you jump into the uh, into the dungeon itself. So, yeah, I, I guess that's you know something really interesting, and it's it really helps. And I, I am I'm actually really blown away with the amount of um, uh, information and detail, and you know, attention to detail, I should say rather, that's been popped into this. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I thank that person that has actually done it. You know, she's made an amazing, um, done an amazing effort, I should say, in putting, um, you know, her own time and effort into creating this table for us. So, you know, it's free to see. So, guys, you you got to definitely check the Discord server. I do have it in my description. So do check it out, and hopefully you guys will get something out of it. But anyway, um, that's pretty much everything that I sort of wanted to touch base with you guys today. And hopefully you guys really enjoyed this one. Um, I thought I took a little bit more time this time around just to sort of um, go through it, have a bit more of a read of it and, you know, and have that better explanation for you guys as well. So, and the other thing I wanted to sort of look at as well, and I'm just noticing this now. And if you look at my, um, if you look at the enemies that we have here, you notice with the dark enemies, the, the they've got like a little dark shade against their name and a little square. Um, if you need to rewind it and replay that, that part there, just so you guys have a, um, a better look at it. Um, I found that quite interesting. Um, I don't know if that's been a newer implementation in the last couple of updates. I'm, I'm not completely sure, but I just figured I might just, yeah, just point that out. Anyway, um, we are actually nearly done 
clearing out this zone and it's really only gone on 10 minutes so i've absolutely smashed it i probably should have maybe used a, a, a weaker weapon maybe just to sort of drag it out a little bit but <laughs> what do you do anyway this is the final chest that we have here which i think i'm aware of and hopefully we'll get uh, something decent out of this one um lack last on the other 20 20 second chest but we'll see we'll see what we get out of this one here all right and what do we get for this one all right so just some experience doubt there'll be anything new that i'll be learning with this okay so that pretty much sums up the zone anyway there guys if anything i might even just come back and just um farm the hell out of it and get all the uh the wood and how much i'm probably missing i'm missing one oak tree i know that for sure i'm guessing it's probably towards the end over here anyway so if i whisk around over here i'm probably destined to find it i hope and did you know actually you know what i'm running out of fangs and i figured i might as well just uh loot what I don't have or what I do need, I should say rather. And oak tree, oak tree, oak tree, where are you? Yeah, you gotta be down here somewhere. Still quick run anyway. Anyway, while I'm doing that there guys, if you guys like what you've seen today, go ahead, hit the like button, all that sort of good stuff. Let me know what you thought about this style of video, giving you some um, leading information about, you know, um, events and things like that. I think that's probably something I haven't touched on, um, at all since the vet, um, the events have actually, you know, come around. So let me know what you think about it, but also more importantly, um, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If you are new to the channel and, and, um, also hit the notification bell along with it and yeah, go ahead, like the video guys. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to find it. I'll probably find it off camera anyway. So anyway, it is what it is. But um, I will leave it here for today and I will catch you in another video. All right. See you guys.